This is Dr. Lam from drlam.com and the Adrenal Fatigue Center. Uh, many people ask me, uh, how do you know if your thyroid is improving without doing a test? And the simple answer to that is that you look at your symptoms. Thyroid health really represents metabolic health. What does that mean? Remember, the thyroid is responsible for controlling your body's metabolism. How fast your body runs at the basal metabolic rate is accountable by thyroid hormones. So when your body is low in thyroid function, the signs can include fatigue, constipation, dry uh, skin, uh, and in severe cases, uh, losing the one third, outer one third of your eyebrows. Perhaps the most common is fatigue. And if your body starts to have increase in energy, uh, reduced constipation, and the reversal of many of these symptoms, then it is a sign that your metabolism is starting to rise again. Of course, you don't want to just jump to conclusion that these uh, improvement in symptoms that are typical of hypothyroidism uh, when reversed is due to the thyroid improving because you can use medications and other stimulants, including uh, natural compounds, which would be uh, like glandulars and herbs to generate similar effect but the underlying thyroid is still not well. In other words, symptoms management and solving symptoms is not necessarily equal to recovery on the thyroid if there's a thyroid problem. That's why most doctors, if not all doctors, would want you to do a thyroid and a blood test. And it's very simple to do. It's not that expensive. And you only need three basic parameters. One is a, a called TSH, what is called a thyroid stimulating hormone. The other one is a free T3. Remember, it's free T3, not just total T3. And then the last one is called free T4. These three parameters will uh, be able to give a very good uh, insight and picture to your thyroid function. Now, in the case of uh, adrenal fatigue, uh, this number can be skewed in the sense that uh, one can have normal uh, thyroid no uh, function numbers and still have adrenal weakness. And at the same time, uh, even the numbers are not borderline low or not very normal, uh, you have to combine with clinical correlation in order to really understand the thyroid function. A single snapshot of thyroid testing or uh, symptoms, uh, qualitative uh, type of report is not sufficient, and most uh, patients uh, have to be tracked over a period of time. And if you learn uh, to listen to your body and be really sensitive and understand what the body is trying to tell you, then oftentimes you will find the signals and the signs are there. Of course, if you have both laboratory tests and qualitative uh, signals and signs, uh, that would be the best. But even with the best signs and laboratory tests, you still need a clinical correlation and the medical knowledge, and usually of your family doctor or a endocrinologist to properly interpret these uh, results for you so that you really have a good insight as far as the degree of thyroid recovery you may have. But in the absence you know, of uh, these uh, tools, and uh, simply by paying attention to your symptoms can often be a good uh, indicator of your thyroid health. I hope you've enjoyed this video. For more information on this topic, head over to drlam.com where I've written over a thousand articles to help educate people. You can also call me at 626-571-1234 for more information on adrenal fatigue and how to navigate it. Finally, if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.